Okay, so I've got a few things to add to my uh, previous video on Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, I overclocked to 2 gigahertz, but uh, as you can see, the CPU is still showing 1.5 gigahertz. So I changed it in the UEFI settings, but I do need to change the config.txt to allow it to overclock. So let's do that first. Uh, let's just shut this down. So I've now booted up Raspberry Pi OS, and I'm going to put my micro SD card in an SD card adapter and then pop it into the Pi. And here you see it shows up as boot. So we double click on that. And then we're looking for config.txt. And then we need to add the overclock lines to this. So let's add in, you don't need a space, but I'm putting a space just to make it tidier. Uh, over voltage equals six and arm frequency equals 2000. It's what works for me, obviously overclock at your own risk. Uh, but if I then save that, Then I can eject that SD card and then reboot the Pi with the Windows 10 SD card. Okay, you can see now it's uh, taken the overclock, so it is showing as 2 gigahertz. So let's close that down and address the next bit, uh, which is internet. Okay, so the ethernet port doesn't yet work on the Pi 4 with Windows 10, and nor does the Wi-Fi. There's no driver support for that. But if you use a wired ethernet connector, uh, so I can plug that in. You can see this has got Ethernet on it. I'll put a link in the description to this one. It's also a USB hub, so it gives you a few more USB sockets. And then I need to plug Ethernet into that. I need to move it over because my cable is not that long. Okay, so you can see the Ethernet is plugged in now. And uh, if we go to the Windows screen, I'll switch over to screen capture for this next bit. So you can see that's picked that up straight away. Do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network? So I'm going to say yes, because I often use my network attached storage. So if I go down to the bottom here, you can see network internet access. Uh, now, because this is a stripped down build, there's no web browser on here at the moment, but we can go to the Microsoft store and you see that it's picked up the internet. So if I go full screen, you can see that it's working on the internet now. Uh, if I do a search, there is a browser. As I say, it depends on the build that you download. This is an older build that I, I was using because it was the first one I got to work. Um, but I should be using some newer builds. Uh, and I'm also going to try one of the ones from the WR website because it will have everything of Windows. And uh, I wanted to see how well it ran uh, with the 3 gig of RAM. So you can see here, browser. I use the Blue Sky browser um, just to start it up. Uh, and then once you've got that, you should then be able to install other browsers on it. But you can just hit get and, and install it in the normal way. Okay, so the other way you can do internet is with a mobile phone. So I'm going to unplug my USB device. So you can see it's showing I've got no network. And I can plug in this tiny Bluetooth adapter, link in the description again. Now Bluetooth is great because it gives us sound from a Bluetooth speaker, but also it allows us to connect a Bluetooth Xbox controller. Plus it also allows us to connect to our mobile phone and use the internet from that. So you can see super tidy build uh, with just this Bluetooth adapter. You could also use it for a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. Mine isn't Bluetooth, so I have a separate dongle in there. Um, but yeah, Bluetooth is definitely your friend in this situation. So if you want more details on how to set up Bluetooth devices tethering to your phone and the speaker, uh, then check out this video, uh, WOR10, you'll find it on my channel, and in the playlist, because I've got a playlist with all my WOR videos. The only difference is now you're plugging the Bluetooth adapter straight into the Pi, and you don't have to use the on-the-go USB adapter. So let's help the performance on the Pi as well. Um, so obviously a lot of uh, Amir's builds are very lightweight, so they don't need an awful lot of this, but there's a, a few other things that whichever one you download is worth looking at. So if you go to startup, uh, if OneDrive setup is enabled, then I would disable it because it definitely slows down Windows on Pi. But then obviously if you use OneDrive and it's a key thing, maybe you need it. Next thing to do is press Windows and R and type in SYS dm.cpl go to advanced performance and settings and then change this to adjust for best performance and watch what it turns off everything hit apply and hit ok 
and then you'll find everything you do tends to just move that much quicker. Um, it, is, uh, it is very responsive and uh, just, just really impressive. Another good way of getting sound on the Pi at the moment with Windows because sound isn't properly supported is to use a USB sound card and again I've got videos in that WOR playlist which talk about USB sound cards. Again the only difference is that you'll be plugging them directly into the Pi and not into the on-the-go hub now. Okay, hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.